Hello everybody, and today we are playing Parkasaurus. This is an early access game that's all about building a dinosaur theme park. And it's much cheaper than Jurassic World, which is why we're playing it. And so they shot a dinosaur and a rocket to Earth. Does that mean dinosaurs are aliens in this universe? Or is that just a dinosaur astronaut? Wouldn't want to discriminate. What is our park name? Let's go with breaking something. Because I'm sure things will be broken by the end. Oh, it won't fit. Fine. Breaking sawmit. So it tells me how big it should be. What happens if I try to make it smaller? Yeah, that's not inhumane at all. And there's what looks like a Spinosaurus who's interested in making money off donation boxes. But first, I think we need more of these and some benches so people can rest and then donate. Now we've got our egg. We fit. Yes, the egg fits just. Now we're hiring a veterinarian. Huh. Ability, speed. Let's go with the one that's super fast, even if he's not very good at it. No, oh, no. Oh. But for a second, we flooded it. I don't think it likes. I don't think the game likes the tiny pen. We might have to expand. Okay. So here's the deal. We'll make the pen nice and big, but dinosaurs don't get to live in it. That seems fair, huh? Ew. So dinosaurs want special trees, do they? We're sorry, look. Empty exhibit wants special trees. Yes, everyone, come in and see the glorious egg that is yet to hatch. It's good for it, I promise. Oh, I thought this said walrus. In any case, we have to go with him because he's got the funniest name. Pick up and move the janitor. Okay, janitor. Go in the pan. Oh! <gasps> It popped out! Oh, it's so cute! Its name is Agatha. Talk about inhumane. And its food is on the other side. You're hungry. Well, you're just gonna have to break free. Sort that out yourself. Meanwhile, the janitor is still stuck in this little thing. The dinosaur is angry. Sleeping, but angry. Well, your food's right here. Come and get it. This is a tiny fence. I think you can break it if you want. Yeah, he's still stuck in there because I walled him in. That's where he lives now. I guess that's the janitor exhibit. You'd think people would be more eager to see alien dinosaurs. It's teaching me how to tranquilize a dinosaur. I can't help but feel like this is purposely timed. Well, this guy is literally named Crony, so it's gotta be him. Shoot it for fun. Shoot it while it's in the water. That, that won't go wrong at all. Oh my gosh. There you go, Agatha. Go solve some mysteries. Or write some. This guy's got nice heart-shaped sunglasses. You're the one. Uh, stop running. Now hurry up and get on that research before I lock you in the janitor pen. The janitor is a herbivore. Otherwise, he's not gonna have anything to eat. What happens when their hunger goes all the way down? Do they actually die? Let's find out. We find dinosaur skulls and footprints through a time portal, and that's how we get new dinosaurs. An interesting concept. We perfected time travel. I guess that's why. People aren't super excited about the dinosaurs. We'll probably see them all the time now. No, is today the day that Agatha escapes? Oh. She really wants to. And 
she's hungry. So she might not be too picky about what she eats or who. And while we're waiting for that, let's just put some outhouses right here in the front. And all the toilets in the world. Here. I'm starting to feel bad for Agatha, so we'll put in a small meat feeder. That way she can get used to the taste of blood. These two dino dogs can be right by each other. We'll monitor them, see who wins. Loser will be put in the dinosaur cage. And you know what? I think we've been doing this whole donation box thing all wrong. You see how they're all over to the side and people can just walk right by them? Not anymore. You want to come into the park? You gotta donate something. Stonehenge? We're going for Stonehenge. Every time the Triceratops tries to headbutt them through the fence, they just cheer and cheer. Look at them. They love the sensation of almost dying. And that one's got a huge dino dog. I hope we're charging for those. Like, really charging for those, because they're massive. Price. No. You will be the expensive gourmet dino dog. There. We will mark you by purple. That was the normal size hot dog we've been seeing. I can't wait to see what the big one looks like. Hurry, someone pay the exorbitant prices so I can see. Janitor's doing good in his little enclosure. Still trying to pick up trash. Good man. Ooh, and the kid is ready to have... Mildred. First Agatha, now Mildred. Oh, They love each other. That's good. Maybe they'll work together as a team to eat the humans. And it looks like our janitor enclosure is causing issues because people are now swimming through garbage. This guy wants to know if we host weddings, but only gave us one star. So, he apparently doesn't like the person he's marrying very much. No! Oh! We've got an escape! Oh, security guard is trying to get him. Oh. And now the little one. Oh. That guy just pooped. I wonder if that's supposed to be... Shorthand for violent death. Yay! <laughs> He's really excited about that dinosaur coming out and telling him. My partner broke up with me at Breaking Summit. <laughs> but he gave it two stars, so that relationship was already doomed. Breaking Summit? More like, I don't know, <laughs> the wit on that one. And I guess they don't, they just don't really need food. Like, they get unhappy when they don't have it, but it doesn't negatively affect them in any other way. Do you know, all the scientist does over here is just <laughs> stay here all the time. I feel like we should make him a little exhibit too. 
Oh, we can't. There are too many bathrooms. Well, we'll fence them in anyway. Make sure he can't get out. Maybe that way we'll research Stonehenge faster. Oh no. There's no way to fall him in. I know. I know the perfect thing. Oh, come on. Let me put donation boxes there. What about garbage? Bench? No, the game doesn't want me to lock up the scientist. I don't know why. It's not like he ever leaves. He just stays there. Does his little science macarena. It does look like this fence is confusing the public, causing lots of unnecessary traffic jams though. That's nice. I'm beginning to think it would have no negative impact at all. I think it's time to get started on a new dinosaur pen. Put a gazebo in it. So if you're really brave, you can just come in and have a seat. Use a little gate. One on the other side. I'm gonna put privacy grass all around the side. So if people want a good look, they're gonna have to come in. Him, this guy is gonna get his own feeder. What we really need is more donation boxes. I feel like if we put enough here, it won't matter if the dinosaurs try to get out. Because there'll be donation boxes in the way. And more toilets, because that's what we really need here. Maybe that will lure them around. Here. There's some dino dogs. I know you love them. Look, you can have hot dog big. They're really cheap. And here, these can be really cheap too. Since we're using it so much, I guess we're gonna Go for the bathroom pack. Although really, the big news is that we finally got Stonehenge. There we go. People totally want to see Stonehenge. There you go. All nice and paved in like it was meant to be. Hey, look, I'll put a balloon shop around the back. Wow, oh, I can't afford to. People just, no matter how much they can't see the dinosaur, they're just not brave enough to go inside. Even though I gave them a nice place to sit and everything. It's possibly the most beautiful spot in the entire park. And they just won't go in because they might get eaten. Oh, cowards. Well, it looks like we're not making as much money as I hoped by this point. So there's only one more thing to do. Donation box. That's right, you want to see, you gotta pay. Yeah, we'll put a light up. Right in the middle of Stonehenge. So you can see what you're missing at all hours. What I really want more than anything is to get a meat eater. But I think I have to actually take care of the ones I have in order to do that. So. Okay guys, let's. Buckle down. You can go in there. Go in the water. <laughs> Did that dinosaur just poop? Is that what that is? Poop. Yes. 
there. Your home's a little bigger now. Are you happy? No. Well, that's it then. We're gonna have to bring down the wall. And now they're all together, living in harmony. That says something about human nature, doesn't it? And you know, how we like to trap things in pens. Man, these guys can eat. Well, in order to get more hearts, we need more dinos. And we need more hearts in order to get their bots, which are the fun ones. So we're gonna put in some more dinos. Employee building. Unlock your employee's potential. How long have we had that? Here you go, guys. Sorry we didn't care before now. Ooh, and the new outhouses. Let's put them right behind them. Banana stands, because that's what the people want. Now that we've got their pods on the way, it's important that we make them wonderful enclosure. There we go. <laughs> this is our theropod exhibit. Put a nice half. People can go up to it. As you can see, it's a simple maze. And we'll have to see dinosaurs can navigate it. This way, it's really in God's hands. Let's put funnel cakes up here to draw in the crowd. Just to be fair to the dinosaur, because they're not known for their intelligence, we're gonna pick out the smartest one we can get, which of course is the raptor. Here we go. I'll just have to break out of this first little area before they can run the maze. Will it be able to figure its way out of this maze? Place your bets now. If it does, I like to think it will feel a sense of accomplishment afterwards. You know, after it begins to eat people. Oh, look, it's adorable. And look at those teeth. We add paths on the inside so they can go see it for the brief time it's in captivity. Oh, why not? You know what? This is taking too long. Let's just... Yeah! Give this guy a hand, right? <laughs> if he gets through the maze, he'll have earned a good meal. Oh, look at him go. Look. Can he make it this last bit? Oh. Oh, clever girl. Let's see, can he do it a second time? Oh yeah. Knows just where to go. Oh, let's see. Are you gonna make it to some people? <laughs> and again? Dinosaur can navigate the maze better than the visitors. That security is always harshing our mellow. So you know what? I'm gonna make a security person exhibit. Here's your new home. I'm getting in my way. Now Zola. You can run the maze without anyone to interrupt you. Ooh, getting a little confused this time. Oh, only briefly. I 
and decided to take a nap. Whoa! That's an impressive level of destruction for such a little thing. Are you gonna free your friends? Oh no, not Stonehenge! You're supposed to eat the people, not the scenery. What are you, Jack Nicholson? This guy was running for his life a minute ago, but then he saw the dino dog and he had to stop. Guys screaming off into the parking lot. Oh, no, he's fine. Just walking calmly. Wasting no time. Look at that. Oh, those people got caught on fire <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> mm. And after that fit of destruction, they both fell asleep. Setting people on fire with your mind is probably hard work. Not Stonehenge again. Why do you guys hate Stonehenge so much? Ah! <laughs> they come to the park, pay to get in, and immediately run screaming. Dude, because you think you're dead. Whoop. Pop up smoke. Surprisingly bloodless. Or maybe not surprising considering what game this is. All the blood and gore and dinosaur attacks would go against the aesthetic, I feel. But with the cheery music and whatnot. And look, she just caught on fire, just standing there. Oh, now she noticed. Well, she forgot again. Zola is hungry. Where is Zola? Oh, somehow the security guard got her. That's why she wasn't causing any more destruction. That security guard. Nothing but trouble. No wonder we put him in an exhibit. Well, as we look out over the destruction and people caught on fire, I think you understand this game now and the wonders of it. You can feel free to make your own park and then destroy it for no reason. And that's what freedom's all about, really. Bathrooms have come are surprisingly intact. I guess even the dinosaurs respect the porta potties. In any case, that's all the time we have for today. So thanks for watching and goodbye.